गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर गोज एंड सेफ सो सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ मैटर चैप्टर एज यू कैन सी हेयर सो सिक्स पार्ट बी क्वेश्चन वाई डू लिक्विड्स हैव अ फिक्सड साइज बट नॉट अ फिक्सड शेप वी ऑल नो दैट लिक्विड्स कैन टेक द शेप ऑफ द कंटेनर बट दे हैव द फिक्सड साइज वाई सो द मेन पॉइंट इज दैट यू शुड रिमेंबर ऑलवेज दैट अबाउट द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल इन द इन द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर सो इन केस ऑफ लिक्विड दे आर अरेंजमेंट ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स वी ऑल नो दैट दे आर लूजली पैक्ड सो दे कैन ईजली मूव अराउंड अप टू अ सर्टेन एक्सटेंट दे कैन मूव दे कैन गो एंड दे हैव अ फिक्स शेप बिकॉज यू नो दे आर वॉल्यूम इज कॉन्स्टेंट दे हैव मीन्स वन ग्लास ऑफ वाटर इफ वी विल पोर इन एनी एनी वेसल और एनी अदर कंटेनर और यूटेंसिल्स इट विल बी वॉल्यूम विल रिमेन द कॉन्स्टेंट सो द वॉल्यूम इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी कैन से दे हैव द फिक्स साइज बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ शेप दे चेंज देअर शेप एंड दे टेक द शेप ऑफ द वेसल बट लिक्विड्स ऑल्सो हैव अ फिक्सड साइज रिमेंबर दिस दैट लिक्विड्स हैव अ फिक्सड साइज बट दे कैन चेंज द चेंज देअर शेप दे कैन चेंज देअर शेप and take the shape of the container and next question is next question is the properties of the state of matter what are the properties of the states of matter so here they are saying that you have to write three properties between the solids and liquids and liquid and gases so i have written that uh, i have sent you this that you have to do from the page number 40 41 so if we will talk about the solids and liquids so we know that solids have a fixed shape and volume whereas uh, liquids do not have a fixed uh, shape they have the fixed size okay but they have the fixed volume because of the fixed size and they can flow also but liquid cannot flow liquids are rigid they are hard in shape and they do not need any container to keep whereas liquids need container to keep otherwise they will flow liquids can flow from higher to lower region and solids cannot be flow or you can say do not flow it is difficult to compress we all know in solid matter we cannot or solid object we cannot compress but liquids can when uh, we can compress the liquid up to a certain extent now a uh, few examples of uh, solids are car rock table chair so many are uh, so many you can see around us same as liquid is water fruit juice milk vinegar cooking oil petrol diesel so like this you have to write this answer from the page number 41 next they are saying that you have to tell the three uh, differences between the liquids and gases so that also liquids i, I already explained you in terms of gases you can write gases they can flow in all the direction their molecules are very loosely packed so you can tell uh, you can tell or you can write about the arrangement of the molecule in all the three and they neither have a fixed shape nor a fixed volume they can be exp uh, easily expressed uh, easily compressed we can compress the gases and then gases change its states from gases to the liquid and they need a closed container if we want to store it they they need a closed container otherwise they will diffuse otherwise they will move so we uh, we know air is a mixture of different uh, gases so you can write any gas name or uh, learn the two names hydrogen carbon dioxide natural gases lpg cooking gases um that you can write anything oxygen ammonia gas anything you can write now question number d is why does a solid change to liquid on heating so why it is changing because you know whenever we will heat the solid what will happen the particles the molecules gain the energy because and they will get the kinetic energy and when a matter is having a kinetic energy what it do it show movement it it will move 
it is start moving from one place to another place so like this when uh, we heat it the motion of particles in solid move away from each other they will move and when they will move what will happen the the force of attraction will break the cohesion force will break and the particles start moving and the liquid convert into uh, and the solid convert into liquid uh, form so here you can see uh, that the force of attraction and cohesion force weakens weakens means it will decrease and the solid state changes into liquid state so this process is called melting in the ice also we are doing that whenever we uh, whenever we heat the ice or at room temperature when ice absorbs the heat from the environment the ice melts start melting and it will uh, quickly or it will it will readily turns into liquid form so this process is called melting and the melting point of ice is 0 degree celsius uh, at this temperature 0 degree celsius ice melts into water so you can say and you can see here also that when solid is heated the particles gain the energy you can mention the kinetic energy also and the uh, molecules of the solid start moving apart they are the force of attraction and cohesive force uh, become weak and then physical state of the solid change into liquid so this thing only you have to mention in your answer so remember these points now the next one is how evaporation different from the boiling so here i have mentioned i have given you six points so you can remember that boiling we are providing a fixed temperature okay boiling we are providing a fixed temperature boiling uh, boiling temperature of water is 100 degree celsius uh, so many like petrol and all they are just um, they they can also boil at different different temperature like 250 like 300 like 500 like this different um, different things different matter they, they need different boiling points and you know what is boiling boiling what happen liquid turn into the water vapor now evaporation it occurs all the time at any time even at the low temperature also also evaporation rate will decrease but it is continuously going on boiling is a quick process and uh, evaporation is a slow process it takes place throughout the liquid only but it takes place uh, takes place only at the liquid surface so this evaporation need a liquid surface like you know uh, water cycle also you can see the water body is there okay so that water body continuously evaporation is going on at night also the rate is uh, low but continuously it is happening now bubbles are formed with the sound we can see with the uh, and here evaporation no bubbles are formed okay we cannot see all the time we cannot see we will start if we will stand in front of the river or lake or any other water body um, we cannot see that how or when the liquid is just evaporating so all the time we will not see the fumes or water vapors here temperature remains constant okay like uh, for water we need 100 degree celsius okay if we will give uh, more temperature and then what will happen it will uh, it this uh, this process will become um, that fast and it can hurt burn the vessels also so like this um, and if suppose uh, if we are giving 100 degree celsius to any other liquid like petrol or kerosene or anything it will not boil so temperature remain the constant whereas in evaporation it can be changed i told you at low temperature also evaporation will have will be takes place now thermal energy supplied as a source so this boiling obviously we have to give the thermal energy and here thermal energy supplied by the uh, surrounding so what is the difference between the two points that here for boiling we need uh, we we want to give heat through the stove through the uh, through any um, source okay but they need they can need because you know sun is there so sun is the main source of energy main source of um, heat energy so uh, in any surrounding in in, in every uh, environment already sun is there so from that uh, they can take the they can perform the evaporation process so children um, they need from an energy source um, and they need from the surrounding so surrounding all the time remember it occurs all the time and it occurs um, whenever we will provide the heat then only it will occur 
so children go through this step uh, so please start learning you soon your exams are coming and um, read the the chapter well because you know in between the chapter we can put the question so rest of the things i will uh, i will discuss in the zoom class with you uh, so thank you children have a nice day god bless you all